It started with two cases on March 12, 2020. Within a month, that is in April, we had recorded over 500 cases. By the next month, May 2020, our case count had shot up to 5,127. By the following month, which was June, that figure doubled to 10,856. From mere tens to hundreds to thousands in a month, and now to hundreds of cases being recorded on a daily basis, and in some cases in a day, close to a thousand. In the past days, coronavirus has reinforced the fact that it is no respecter of persons and can strike and kill anybody, and we are seeing that in the death and infection of high-profile personalities across the country. Now, recently, there have been countless accounts from frontline health workers over the overwhelming number of cases they've had to deal with by the hour of congested ICUs and many more now on ventilators. More children, we are told, are getting infected. Now, if this does not scare you, I don't know what will. Today, July the 2nd, 2020, Ghana's case count has hit 18,630, one of the highest in Africa. It is clear from all indications that our numbers are going up because of clear disregard for the basic safety protocols. The most flouted social distancing and non-wearing of masks. A few weeks back, some party supporters of the NPP, despite the dangers during the primaries, flouted the rules and received no punishment whatsoever from authorities. They were left off the hook with a mere warning. Again, just last week, some members of the party also flouted the rules during its acclamation of the president. Now, such actions from people and authorities only send the wrong signal to the general populace and in this case that it is okay to flout the rules and you will not be punished. Also, don't be bothered about your health. And as if this is not enough, all across the country, we are seeing glaring disregard of the rules by some Ghanaians who are embarking on the voter registration exercise despite assurances from the Electoral Commission. It took two days from the Electoral Commission to realize that its initial plan for ensuring social distancing, a key factor in the fight against the spread of COVID-19, was not good enough. Now, despite the announcement of new measures to deal with this, the challenge still persists. Social distancing is still not adhered to at most registration centers. Now, what's our solution? A solution to this matter lies in two things, leadership and personal responsibility. Leadership. Authorities must implement the sanctions spelled out in the law for those who flout the rules without fear or favor. With the rising numbers we are seeing in certain areas, perhaps the time has come for us to consider a local lockdown of such places to prevent further spikes to other places. Now, the Electoral Commission must also quickly create the demarcations at the registration centers to ensure social distance rules are adhered to and make available the necessary logistics to ensure it is done. Political parties must also sensitize their members on the need to adhere to the rules and implications if they fail to. And finally, personal responsibility. This is to save ourselves from contracting this disease where everyone or the majority of us must be conscious of the circumstances and ensure we respect all the safety protocols to save ourselves, our families and our loved ones. This has been Vivian's View. My name is Vivian Kai Loko. Thank you for watching what the papers are saying. Goodbye.